Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Let's see what's next. Aquarius. Did we do Aquarius yet? We did not. Aquarius. Just saw the King of Swords. So Aquarius week two, July 2021. Aquarius. Frustration, aggravation, focused on the wrong things, not being happy with where you're at, can't make decisions, don't want to follow, follow your soul, you don't want to feel anything, you'd rather be blunt and arrogant, I, I mean I hate to say it, I'm just calling it as I see it, you, you lost an opportunity. You lost a beautiful connection with somebody of your own negativity here, whoever this is relating to. And it, and the thing is, you don't even want to accept it's over, but it's over. But you want to transform it. Your, your indecisiveness, you want a reconciliation. You want to blend a situation. You're trying to use your intuition. You have the confidence here. Or you were dealing with somebody who's a high priestess type energy. Very confident, very stable. It's like earth energy, earth angel energy. Earth angel, earth angel, won't you be mine? So you lost an opportunity here. You didn't put enough effort into it. Um, you don't want to accept that it's over. You don't want to see things differently. You don't want to open up. You want to work on something, but it's like you're still indecisive. Yeah, yeah, you're not happy that you don't have this person in your life anymore. And the way you're communicating is harsh, or the way the masculine is communicating is harsh. And the feminine's like, psh, not having it. Like, it's a wrap, it's done. Damn. Lies coming out. Yeah, you're doing nothing when it comes to your own happiness. It's like you're letting go of something, but you're doing nothing. So hopefully you're letting go of your past in order for you to move forward because you already let that hold you back. I'm sorry, it's, it's so blunt. Okay, so if you're dealing with an Aquarius and you're cross-watching, very blunt energy. Um... To me, you lost a connection here. You let other things get in the way. You let somebody else that wasn't taking care of you, wasn't nurturing you, wasn't giving you anything. And you let it get in the way of something else that was beautiful. You weren't seeing something. It was, But this is arrogant energy. No, it will never be over. It will go my way. It's over when I say it's over. And now it's like you want this energy back because somebody is... This is a beautiful energy. It's a healing energy. You could be dealing with a psychic. You could be dealing with a tarot reader. You could be dealing with a healer um, that's extremely confident, knows exactly what they want, won't mess around, won't play games. And you're still like, shit, do I want it? Do I not want it? This energy is clearly taking care of themselves elsewhere. It's whomever you were dealing with. You didn't give them enough. This energy won't settle for less. You're very unhappy. You're hoping that something will go into your favor if you let go of something else, but yet you're doing nothing about it. There's a secret that's going to be revealed that's going to end something for good this week. And that looks like a good thing because there's a need to get back on track here. You got very stern energy. I almost feel like the way I'm talking to you guys and discussing things, this is like spirit talking to you. Like, what are you doing? Get your ass in gear. What's wrong with you? Just do it. So, I don't know who that message is for, but... Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius. Got a feminine here that's clearly moving forward from a situation. 
Yeah, again, Queen of Pentacles twice, not putting effort into it, reverse, not having it. But she is not accepting a situation either. So it must be somebody from your past just trying to just more effort, more effort. But that's more effort is, is lies. But to me, it's with the Eight of Swords, you're not allowing interference to get in your way anymore. And the thing is, you're not allowing interference to get in your way because you already did and you it was a loss. And now it's like you just want it back. I don't know if you can just have it back. Again, lack of hope. You're not transforming your lies. You're sabotaging situations. Or you already sabotaged this situation. I just heard the song over here. Like the feminine over here. You could have had it all. You could have had it all. Alright. So this is somebody you went back and forth with. Back and forth with. You want to walk right back to them, but you don't have the confidence. That's because you let your ego get in the way over here. If you want it, go after it. Be real. Be real about the situation. It's going to let go, let go. You're wasting time. I hate to say it. You're wasting time on, on how to try and to figure out how to do this, how to reconcile, how to come back together, how to blend energy. You're wasting time. So there's some type of communication coming and lies being exposed but it is it is freeing energy you are going to feel free once you expose these lies you hold them back you're lying you got to tell the truth here you got to expand you got to evolve you got to move forward you got to stand in your power expose what needs to be exposed have more confidence with what it is you want where you want to go how you're doing it Stop holding back. Stop wasting time. You want it? Fix it. Wow. So blunt. Alright, I'll see you guys on Patreon. I love you guys. Bye.